Wow, well, actually, see, this is the way forward. No, it isn't. It's terrible. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo UK. And today we're looking at TV stars and celebs who hate the shows they've appeared on. I'm thinking, oh, good, hopefully he's going. You know, hurrah. <laughs> Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Colleen Nolan, Loose Women It's not clear what's really going on with Colleen Nolan and Loose Women, but there are constant stories in the tabloids about alleged bad blood between Nolan and her fellow panellists. Oh. Shall we look at the before and after? Let's Just not. <laughs> we all know about her legendary feud with Kim Woodburn on Big Brother, but it seems that Kim isn't the only person who finds Colleen difficult to work with, and accusations have flown that Loose Women is, quote, a toxic workplace. Are you going to roll me back? Roll back. So, <laughs> oh, all right, wind. <laughs> back in 2011, Colleen actually quit the show temporarily, though she soon came back, and rumours have long swirled that her fellow panellists have often refused to appear alongside her. <laughs> Our next story today got Colleen... Well, she's very cross. She was very a bit cross. cross today, were Very you? cross. Everybody involved has denied this publicly, however. Gemma Collins, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. It was clear to absolutely everybody that Gemma Collins hated every single second she spent down under during her shockingly short stint on I'm a Celeb. I just can't do it. It ain't for me. It's just not for me, this show. I found it really difficult, waking up crying and feeling panicked every day. So After an extremely stressful helicopter ride that proved to be too much for her, Gemma spent only a few days in the jungle before she spectacularly quit. But in the years since, she's spoken out about what happened, saying she was actually mugged just before leaving the UK and that she now regrets giving up. I'm so out of my comfort zone that it's made me realise who I, who the girl I always was. Still, she certainly hadn't been enjoying herself before, breaking down numerous times. I have become a, a, a character, a puppet of Gemma, that mm. is not the real me. She was partially paid by ITV for the few days she was on the show, but donated all of the cash to charity. Simon Cowell, The X Factor. How old are you? I'm 51. Oh, you look great. So do yourself, Simon. Uh, thank you. That's nature. Does Simon Cowell hate his own creation? You'd be forgiven for thinking so, since during the entire run of The X Factor, it seemed like he didn't want to be there at all. <laughs> Seriously, he's got to stop. These songs are terrible, honestly. He was always dismissive of many of the acts, and behaved as though he had something better to be doing than starring in his own money-printing show. He once actually had to apologise to viewers for his perceived lack of interest. Degrading. Could not be nice. I think I'm being penalised because he just wants to get out. But many of the former X Factor contestants have spoken out against the show too, including Jedward and Sher Lloyd, who have criticised Psycho's artists' ruthless contracts. And finally, Sharon Osbourne has said she now refuses to work with Cowell after quitting. The cast of Skins. Skins. You fancy me? I sure. But you really love Michelle. This iconic show made the careers of many of the huge stars who appeared on it, Nicholas Holt, Dev Patel and Daniel Kaluuya among them. But many Skins alumni have spoken out about how unpleasant the experience of being on the show was, since they were so young and taking part in very sexually explicit scenes. Pearls. What kind of pearls? Oh, you know. Pills. April Pearson, who played Michelle in Gen 1, has spoken out the most, but so have some of the show's bigger names, like Jack O'Connell, who also discussed the experience of filming those sex scenes at such a young age. Some of them were as young as 16 at the time, and have complex feelings about the show, which was critically acclaimed. <laughs> Kieran O'Keefe and Derek Akora, most haunted. Another interested onlooker on that fateful autumn evening was parapsychologist Kieran O'Keefe. The show's resident skeptic, it was always obvious that Kieran O'Keefe didn't think highly of most haunted or its investigative techniques. He would regularly debunk their most frightening ghostly encounters, as well as pointing out how, in a heightened environment like an all night ghost hunt, the mind can play tricks on you. But did O'Keefe actively sabotage the show by trying to out Derek Akora as a fraud? 
Kieran fed Derek false information on purpose to see if he'd bring it up during a reading, which he did. What happened at the live, there was a lot of things that happened in very quick succession. Akora then left the show and remained on bad terms with the crew, supposedly once calling Yvette Fielding egotistical, while O'Keefe has discussed other alleged instances of most haunting faking its evidence. Normally on an investigation, if one of those things happens, we'll go and investigate it. And I think just because it all happened at the same time, it almost it, it exaggerated it. David Walliams, Britain's Got Talent. He was a staple judge on Britain's Got Talent for years, but in 2022, he stepped down after some offensive comments he made backstage about a contestant were released. The comedian is seeking significant damages from production company Fremantle following the decision to drop him from the ITV show in November last year. He was still on microphone at the time and made the profane remarks after the contestant made fun of him. In one instance, he called an elderly performer the C word three times. But in 2023, Williams filed a lawsuit against the show's producers, alleging that his departure was meant he's, quote, lost his ability to be funny. The crux of the lawsuit is whether Williams was recorded without his consent, which given he was backstage on a TV show at the time, is a bit muddy. So the thing is, it was obviously leaked by a sound man, a producer, a showrunner. Why did they do that? Why didn't they do it in private? We'll have to see how it plays out, but he clearly has no goodwill left for the show. Eamon Holmes, this morning. So it's either an act, in which case it's false, or they are drunk, in which case it should not be allowed. In 2021, Eamon Holmes left this morning after 15 years as a co-presenter. He since claimed that he and wife Ruth Langsford were actually fired from this morning because, back in 2020, he made some comments about 5G. The reporter saying 5G is perfectly safe. Of course mm. 5G is perfectly safe. And I said, who says so? Years later, however, and Holmes returned to the public eye during the Philip Schofield scandal to make claims about Schofield. Holly Willoughby, and this morning, in general. We were lied to, and Ruth and I, to this day, are embarrassed mm. and ashamed when we see those pictures. Months on, and Willoughby herself announced she was leaving the show as well, which led to calls for Eamon and Ruth to be reinstated. But whether Eamon, who's now on GB News, would ever want to go back to this morning is a different question entirely. Jeremy Clarkson, Top Gear. In the years since his extremely high-profile departure from the BBC, Clarkson hasn't kept his disdain for his former show to himself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how filled are you that Top Gear is nowhere near as successful now that you're not on it? <laughs> James May and Richard Hammond left Top Gear alongside him after an incident where he punched a producer, and it's no secret that the Beeb had had a tough time replacing the trio. It's a hard face to pull, this one. Let me try. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, they did settle on Paddy McGuinness, Freddie Flintoff and Chris Harris, but not until it made a disastrous series fronted by Chris Evans and Matt LeBlanc. The viewers hated Evans, and Clarkson publicly relished in the fact the show wasn't working without him. Yeah, James and Richard always yeah. know it's a shame we wish them all the best. I don't. <laughs> Years later, he said there was no way he'd return to Top Gear if they wanted him back. Let us know in the comments if you think these stars are right to hate the shows that made them. These are rules for one and rules for the other. Does that make me bitter? Maybe it does. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.